yeah, obviously it was a great environment. Um, you know, packed house, fun to play um, in front of a packed house. And, you know, obviously wish we could have uh, figured out a way to get that win, but I'm proud of our team and our fight and our competitiveness. Uh, it's a great basketball team we played against. And, you know, they just don't have a lot of deficiencies. They, they can guard, they can score, they can rebound. Um, they got a lot of players that, that make plays. So we knew it was a tough, a tough challenge. I thought we did some good things throughout the game. Um, you know, we'd like to have a few possessions back if we could go back and replay them. But, um, you know, we, if um, going into the game, uh, I thought we had a, a pretty good game plan. We were able to execute some of it, and some of it we weren't. So it's an area that we'll continue to look at and grow from. Um, Coach, the three-point shooting this game, was that just execution, or did, do you think shot selection had anything to do with that? I think we took some good threes. I, I think South Carolina's defense uh, rushes you a little bit. They, they um, when you are open, you're almost surprised that you're open. They don't let you have a lot of good looks. The several good looks that we had, we didn't knock down. Uh, Kelly, it just felt like every time you guys got back in the game, South Carolina has an immediate response. Just how tough is it to sustain momentum against a team like this? And just why do you feel like maybe down the stretch you weren't able to, you know, turn that into a lead or, or keep that going? Yeah, I, I agree. I thought every time we made a run, they, they capitalized. I thought they did a really good job attacking um, in those moments. Uh, they had a few in that stretch where it was offensive board turn into a shot uh, or t turn into a bucket. Um, you know, and that's where you've got to be able to play both ends of the court and, um, you know, put string together a little bit longer um, uh, stretch of plays. Especially in the third quarter, it really seemed like Rakia kind of took everyone on the court and wanted to put them on her back to kind of carry this team in terms of that mentality. Just how great is it to see that and how much of it does she have? Yeah, I thought she had a great mentality um, throughout the game. And, you know, I know that that's – it was not easy, but I thought she handled it really well. I thought she was very positive uh, with her teammates. I thought she communicated well with them. Um, I thought she played pretty tough. And, um, and, you know, I think her teammates, you could see they had a lot of confidence in her throughout that game. Kelly, you did come back at them on the second quarter and then the fourth quarter cut the cut the lead down. That's got to say something positive about where you guys are as we get ready for the SEC tournament next week and beyond. Yeah, you know, I think for us, um, you know, looking looking big picture, man, we have grown in so many so many ways. Um, no one has beat that team, and um, it's for a reason. They're they're really good, and you know, we we didn't back down. I was I was proud of our team. I thought we competed, and um, you know, I think we've been trending upward. We, we've been um, playing some really good basketball, some tough basketball that should serve us well tournament time. Kelly, you mentioned you, know, you liked your game plan coming in and that this team that you played today doesn't have a lot of deficiencies, but you're the only team to come in here and make it single digits by the time the final horn sounded. What do you think you guys did really well that does, I guess, kind of suits up against this team in particular to give them as much trouble as you did? Well, I think um, I thought we did a pretty good job of moving Rakia around and giving us some good looks there offensively. Um, you know, I thought defensively um, we were pretty aware of what we needed to do. I thought our um, uh, understanding of how to guard them and uh, what they could do was was pretty good. Um, and I thought we had some toughness about us. We we didn't win a few loose balls that I would like to get. But um, I thought we, you know, got in there and battled. We stuck our nose in it, and um, that's a that's a level that of toughness that we've been wanting to get to. Um, Coach, with the rebounding, what do you think went wrong, especially after having such a strong performance against Texas A&M on Thursday? Well, they're a great rebounding team. Uh, they they're a great rebounding team, and I think there were um, there were a few execution box outs that we missed. We didn't get as many O boards. This time around, I thought we could have uh, at least I say that I don't know what the number was against them the first time, but um, we had some missed executions, and then um, 
you know, we had some long rebounds we didn't get to. So we'll go back and look at that. I think, um, you know, they're so good on the boards. You're not going to keep them to zero. That's not going to happen. And you're probably not even going to keep them low. Uh, but you don't want to have that disparity. Uh, Rikia, you guys, I believe, are trailing by 11 going to that fourth quarter. We're able to cut it to three and really make it a di game down the stretch. How do you feel about this team's, you know, toughness and mentality to be able to come back from that and still um, make it really close towards the end? Um, <clears throat> I feel like it says a lot about our team. Um, I'm proud how we were able to keep our minds in the game. You know, other teams probably would have just given up seeing that they were down by a large number, but I feel like we just continued to fight. Um, and I feel like I'm just proud of how we handled ourselves. Um, you know, like Coach Kelly said, we missed a lot of opportunities to, um, you know, basically come out with a win, but my probably we're just going to keep getting better. Coach, the fourth quarter is between when South Carolina played in Knoxville and today couldn't have been more different. Just what allowed you guys to produce such a productive fourth quarter? I thought we stayed pretty poised. Um, I, I thought we, we got some stops. Um, I, I thought offensively we were pretty aggressive. And, you know, obviously we changed our, our rotations a little bit, so they, they had a little bit more gas going down the stretch. Uh, Rikia, um, now that the longest part of the journey is over the regular season, where do you feel the mindset is with this team as we get ready for, you know, the SEC tournament and beyond? Um, I feel like we're just going to keep trending upward. Um, I feel like since the Texas A&M game, having that focus and then coming into South Carolina and taking them down to the wire, I feel like that gives this team confidence. Um, we feel like we can, you know, challenge anyone. We have the pieces. We have everything. We have the mentality. Um, we just have to continue to capitalize on things. But um, I feel like we're going in a great direction. Um, after Rakia cut it to three back-to-back -back buckets from Camilla, you call a timeout. There's still four minutes left in the game, but it felt like after that there were some just offensive possessions that were a little rushed or just maybe taking quick shots. Just how do you, what do you feel like led to that maybe? And just when that game was still, there's still a lot of time left. Yeah, you know, I think it's folks being aggressive. Um, we had talked about wanting to get downhill and, you know, we, we might have rushed some there during that time. But I think, I think our team is, is better off playing with great confidence. Um, confidence in one another um, and great aggressiveness. So, um, you know, we will completely dissect the, you know, the, the game, not just the fourth quarter, not just the last four minutes. We'll dissect that game and, and, you know, learn from it. I think that's the other thing. I do think they've done a great job of absorbing what we've talked about in the last few games and, and getting better from it. They've, they've been very receptive. So there's no doubt they'll, they'll grow and learn from this one as well. All right, thank you guys.